This is Twit. Now, authentication, authorization, these types of things are kind of a mystery to people. They understand that you need to have a director of users and then their service, their services have to verify the users and integrate them in there. But what, can you explain maybe how services and or the orchestration of those services kind of work together in the case of authorization, authentication, and kind of how um, your services are helping with that? Sure. Uh, so it, at the, the crux of, uh, of the breaches that we've heard about and that we talk about, uh, one of the most common uh, uh, origins of those is credential compromise. Uh, and Curtis touched on that as well, that uh, if, if we didn't have users, we wouldn't have some of the problems we have. And uh, really smart people end up getting uh, victimized by phishing e emails and spear phishing emails. So um, the, the credential verification and, and authentication needs to be a rigorous part of everybody's security routine. And it has to be done in layers because there's not a silver bullet there's not one thing you can do to stop it, but uh, we try to take the approach of, um, for example, with our single sign-on solution, single sign-on's been around for a long time, um, but it was introduced as a way to make it easier for users to manage uh, the huge number of passwords and user IDs we needed to access our, our systems and applications and, and do our job. So it, it served a great purpose with that, but single sign-on represents the keys to the kingdom. So if somebody, gets uh, single sign-on credentials compromised, the uh, criminals that obtain that can do some really horrific things, uh, not the least of which is steal information that they can sell on the black market or, or use to turn into money some other way. But they can also sit and wait and do something at a strategic time, as we talked about earlier, um, or uh, any number of things that are just intended to be malicious and damaging a business's reputation, perhaps, or uh, potentially putting a business at risk because not every company can survive those things. So, so one of the reasons that it's not necessarily publicized how those verifications take place is uh, it needs to be a little bit of a secret sauce because the, uh, the criminals are pretty smart. So they'll figure out what you're doing and they'll attempt to beat it. But uh, it's why we encourage the multi-layered approach. Um, and in our case, our solutions look at log in to log out, uh, make sure that credentials presented are authenticated and that the behavioral profile behind them, we monitor and, and analyze those, suggests that not only are they valid credentials, but they're being presented by a valid user that has the authority to access the things they're doing. And uh, that leads to the whole uh, permissions and hierarchy thing that uh, every company also needs to uh, be aware of. Uh, the person that is getting into an email account needs to be treated differently than the person that is a systems admin, perhaps. So. So it needs a very sophisticated approach. We use biometrics uh, more recently. So uh, nothing will stop everything, but we certainly think you have to have uh, a lot of layers and, and, uh, and we like the packages that we put together in that regard. 